Hello everyone. My name is Ramon Burathogi and I am a final year undergraduate student at Department of Mechanical Engineering, Kathmandu University. And this is the presentation on the paper Development of a Model of Belt and Runner for Laboratory Testing. The belt is a type of tangential flow impulse turbine that means all the potential energy of the water is converted into kinetic energy before it strikes the runner is used to generate electricity in the hydroelectric power plant. This type of turbine is used for high heights that is greater than 100 meters but equally used for low head application because of the following reasons. It's low excavation cost, better for erosive water, better part load efficiency, less sensitive to head variation, it's wide operating range and lower maintenance cost. Several studies of the reference 2, 3 and 4 have suggested the use of less corrosive and easy to cast material such as aluminium for the fabrication of model belt and turbine. The rapid prototyping using acrylonitriline butadiene styrene ABS material is one alternative to aluminium since it is corrosion free and avoids the hassle of casting. The runner of a built-in turbine is a rotating part that has a circular disc on the periphery of which a number of buckets that are evenly spaced are fixed. The buckets are made by two hemispherical balls that are joined together. Each bucket has a wall in between the two hemispherical balls that is known as the splitter. The splitter splits the jet of water that strikes the bucket into two equal parts and the water jet comes out of the outer edge of the bucket. The buckets are designed in such a way that when the jet of water strikes the bucket it gets deflected through 160 to 170 degrees. In the picture we can see the casted and the prototyped version of the runner on the way to turbine testing lab at Kathmandu University. The runner that is held in hand is the model that has been used for testing process that has been described in this paper. The rapid prototyping techniques is obtained through additive layer manufacturing technology or 3D printing on the basis of three dimensional computer aided design CAD data the use of rapid prototyping in testing of the turbine is both time and cost efficient. The tolerances and the accuracy of the prototype depends upon the printer's resolution that is usually measured in dots per inch DPI or micrometers. For this purpose, a 3D CAD of built-in turbine was designed for the net height of 3.77 meters and rapid prototyped as a single unit using ABS material. The testing process was done at controlled laboratory conditions in a test rig that is available at Kathmandu University. In this research, we have designed and rapid prototyped a belt and runner using ABS material for given head and discharge. We have then studied the performance of the prototype when tested against variable flow under constant head. We have performed this research to see in what ways the performance of the prototype differs or coincides with the casted model. In order to come up with the rapid prototype, we need to undergo certain calculations. For that, we consulted various books and have come up with this data. The specific speed is 26.22 that is designed for the net head of 3.77 meters. For the net Q of 0 0.0084 meter cubes per second for which the minimum number of buckets is 22 and the turbine power is 0 0.0762 kilowatts at 92 percent design efficiency and the mean diameter of the belt and runner is 0 0.15 meters before the testing process is initiated there are a few prerequisites one of them is the production of the prototype and another is the preparations for the testing process. 
the production of runner using computer edit data can be seen in figure 2 the laboratory test setup can be seen in figure 3 this laboratory test setup is on the way to turbine testing lab at Kathmandu University here for the testing process we used a tachometer for the revolutions per minute measurement of the turbine and as for the torque measurement we used Tony brick dynamometer method and for the discharge measurement we used an ultrasonic flow meter for varying the discharge a manually operated spherical valve was used after the testing process is completed the efficiency was measured at varied flow rate and the flow rate versus efficiency curve can be seen in figure 4 from the flow rate versus efficiency curve we can see that with the increasing discharge the efficiency of the prototype increases and the efficiency is maximum at 0 0.00485 meter cubes per second discharge and the corresponding efficiency at this discharge is 73.58% likewise the flow rate versus power curve was also plotted and it looks like figure 5 the orange line denotes the output power from the testing and the blue line denotes the designed power for the prototype. From the fluid versus power curve, we can see that the output power increases with increasing discharge. This is mainly because the hydraulic power increases with the discharge, which is given by the relation P is equals to rho ZQH. The output power is maximum at 0.00485 meter cubes per second and is equivalent to 14.16 watts. We can see the general flow rate versus efficiency curve for various turbines in figure 6. From general flow rate versus efficiency curve, we can see that up to 30% of the flow admittance at the runner's inlet, the efficiency of Pelton turbine increases linearly and from 30 to 50 percent the efficiency reaches a maxima. Beyond 50 percent the efficiency tends to decrease gradually. The experimental results that are obtained from the testing seems to be lagging by a trend factor at 12 percent of flow admittance when that is compared to reference number 5. From the test results, the efficiency is maximum at 60% of flow admittance, which is an agreement to reference number 5. And beyond 60% of flow admittance, the efficiency is, seen to, is seen, seen to be decreasing, which is also an agreement to reference number 5, that is the general flow rate versus efficiency curve. From the flow rate versus efficiency curve and the flow rate versus power curve, we can see that there is some error in flow measurement techniques. This error can be due to the wrong calibration of the ultrasonic flow meter. The flow rate versus efficiency curve of the rapid prototyped model with ABS material is similar to the conventional efficiency curve of a Pelton runner. The lag that is seen at 12% of flow admittance during the testing can be a technical or a human error. This lag can be an interesting field of further research. Careful data logging and calibration of devices during flow measurement is important for the data to be accurate. We hope our research will be an example for the first of many testing using rapid prototyping in Nepal. Also we hope it to be equally helpful to even the larger scale testing using rapid prototyping. Thank you.